What it means to be men and women is 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 a really complex issue and one that's that's very kind of controversial today. So we need to be really careful not to not to go beyond what God has said. And we can do that in lots of ways. We can we can add to what he said um, about what men should be like and what women should be like. We can sometimes exaggerate what God has said and, and maybe take something the Bible says to a certain extent and then we just run with it a whole bunch further than that where we can take a principle the Bible gives us in one area of life and we then absolutize it and apply it to everywhere else. So we need to try to learn to say what the Bible says in the way that the Bible says it to the extent that the Bible says it and for the same reason that the Bible says it, particularly when it comes to what it means to be men and women and the differences and similarities between us. We want to be very humble before the word of God. It is very easy, all of us have our own inbuilt intuition about what a man should be, what a woman should be. And it's very easy to assume that's come to us from scripture and to sort of speak into those things as if we're, we, we're kind of speaking with the authority of the Bible. Actually, we just need to be willing to put our own instincts, our own cultural assumptions to one side and think, what, is, what does God say? about what it means to be a man and a, a woman and, and not to go beyond that, not to subtract from it, not to add to it, not to twist it in any way at all.